Good morning. We are looking to the southeast this morning where those thunderstorms are still rumbling here in the valley. It's quiet in Fargo, but when you step out the door, you're going to notice some intense uh, humidity that we've got going on out there this morning. And we are looking at some uh, issues with some moisture for the valley for much of the day. We'll be talking about that coming up too. Here's a look at our current radar. Our storm warnings are done for now. We're looking at the severe storms off to the east over by the Brainerd area, though we are still being impacted by some strong storms right here in the valley. So that's in Lakes Country. We are much quieter everywhere else here at the moment. But checking out Wadena County, Eastern Otter Tail County, still being impacted by some strong storms. One little cell south of Battle Lake here uh, may be producing some small hail, but over to the east, that's kind of where we're dealing with the strongest uh, storm and the likelihood of hail in Wadena County. So we're going to, uh, first of all, look at the lightning on this. That's where the most intense lightning is occurring. Some uh, cloud to ground lightning, it looks like we're getting there. And then a little bit of lightning still down in um, central parts of Ottertail County and south central parts of the county. Radar showing some uh, bright colors in Wadena County. And as we take a look at our hail size in Wadena County. We're looking at uh, potentially some decent sized hail here in the blue areas, especially in central parts of the county and estimated hail size according to the radar. Uh, close to an inch in diameter. Now this is lifting to the northeast, so gradually it'll be moving into uh, northern parts of the county and then out of our viewing area coming up here uh, within the next hour or so. But there are still, again, some trailing storms behind that. Checking out what's going on, we've got a warm front that's lifted northward here this morning, and we've seen some storms really start to fire uh, with that warm, moist air mass that's been pushing into the southern valley, and it's colliding with uh, some cooler, drier air that we all had yesterday. And the two, the combination of the two means a big range of temperatures this morning. We are starting out in Fargo at 70 degrees currently. And in contrast, up by Langdon, only at 50. Uh, looking down to the south and southeast, we're into the mid to upper 60s. And of course, we're feeling the mugginess that's out there in the warm sector of the system too. Checking out your hour by hour planner. We've got some uh, quieting weather through the rest of the morning hours, some cloud cover hanging around. But as we move into the later part of the day, more chances for rain, perhaps some of those showers hours developing right along and then north of that front that I just showed you here. So west and northern valley more likely to see some of those rain showers, especially as we get that day going and we get into the warmer part of the day in the afternoon. But check out these temperatures. Southern valley, some low 80s potentially for us by the afternoon. Up north, very little warming, 50s to around 60 degrees for your high today there. So much cooler and gloomier with more rain showers. And this evening, more chances for some storms, some of them strong to even severe potentially for later on tonight. This is 7 o'clock, and you can see right now it looks like the, the greatest risk for the evening hours will be in northwestern Minnesota. But all of us at least have the potential for seeing some strong storms. And especially into the nighttime hours tonight, we're looking at through the overnight as we uh, progress through the overnight hours, more storms forming, and they kind of ride right along that front. Uh, that's going to just kind of stay steady where it is, stay stationary here in the valley. So tomorrow morning, um, perhaps waking up to more thunder showers, starting off the day with some rain, and it's going to be a real struggle to warm up from there as that system starts to kick eastward. We're looking at uh, rain showers potentially throughout the day and into the evening hours, and very, again, little warming going on for your Saturday. So mostly cloudy day and a little bit on the gloomy side too. So today, some of us getting to the low 80s, not everyone. Fargo's going to be kind of right on the edge of that 80 degree range. And then Saturday and Sunday, 50s and 60s, just cool for the couple of days that we'll have this weekend. And uh, good chances for rain too, lingering into Monday. Next week, though, we make a recovery. Temperatures will be getting closer to that 70 degree range as we move into midweek uh, next week. But uh, today is the first day of fall. Doesn't feel like it right now, but we'll see those fall conditions really take hold for the weekend. Thank you, Lisa. Dozens of homes are once again on display around the Fargo-Moorhead area this weekend for the fall parade of homes. We'll get a sneak peek at some of them coming up this morning on the Valley Today.